What's up, guys? Vic, Cambodian holiday. Been a minute since I made a video. I'd like to get a bunch of good shit together before I show you guys anything. So, uh, first thing, uh, I don't know if any of you guys have known this or noticed this yet. Let me make sure I got the right one. Is this one you know of course <clears throat> by now everybody's gotten a bad gasser I don't know if the, the camera's gonna pick this up you know this these things are that orange candy flaky kind of color this one on the other hand is very very red so it's a uh, Cool little variation if you guys haven't haven't noticed those yet. I don't know if it'll pick it up. Yeah, you can see there the very red compared to the the orange one. So that was pretty cool. And then uh, I don't know if I showed these or not, but I finally finally got a blue one. It's been after that one, you know, having the the red and the white and all that. I've only got one of these, so maybe I'll be lucky enough to catch a couple more, but pretty cool. And then, uh, let's see what else I got here. Oh yeah, so uh, <clears throat> by now you guys have probably gotten the uh, Camaro set. So. I personally, you guys let me know what you think in the comments. I think they did a great job of this. The tan color is pretty cool. Like business only kind of tampos are nice. The only thing I, I felt that could make anything any better is uh, a swap. And I found some some really cool ones. Uh, a couple of you guys that uh, I've shown this to thought it was pretty cool. Can't go wrong with lettered tires. This one's not even, uh, I haven't had the time to thread it or anything yet. But of course, once it's all said and done, it'll, it'll be like this guy with the all buttoned up. And this one, I, uh, I find that when you black out the grills on these things, and I've still got to put the tail lights, but when you black those uh, grills and tail light areas out, if it'll pick it up. It looks pretty sick. I gotta paint the gas filler and do the tail light trim and stuff. But big improvement, I think, just uh, just by blacking that out. It looks pretty nice. And then. Uh, that's the coolest thing. I got a mint one of these that uh, Mondo Jr. I believe he sent me this in a box. Just a Lucy. And this was an actual car. If you Google that Wilshire Shaker uh, Nova altered wheelbase, you'll see it. But it's got some flea bites on it and stuff. But I still love it. It's like really cool. I thought of uh, just weathering uh, where the flea bites are at. If you guys haven't seen one of these in, in person, these things are nice. I was wanting to try to get their either Belvedere's or I think it's a Belvedere. There's two different, two or three different variations of a Plymouth Belvedere, I think it is, with the altered wheelbase. Those are pretty sick. And then, uh, I got uh, I got lucky on this because. People are on around your guys' area, but uh, people snatch these things up around here. And uh, here, of course, is the uh, the list. In case you guys were curious, cars that are in there. And I'm at a point now where uh, I try not to buy every damn thing. You know how it is, guys. You, you buy all this stuff, next thing you know, they're everywhere. So. Uh, this was a car since I've been collecting. 
even model cars, I don't recall them having a the 68 in power. This thing is this cool gold, almost greenish pea green color. It looks gold in there, but it's got a green hue to it, and this thing is just amazing. It's got the the tail lights inside the, the bumper there. I haven't decided on uh, cracking this thing yet, or else I could show you it a little bit better. And it's not because I don't have a plan to crack it, just there's other shit at work here that there's enough shit in here. So for the time being, guys, uh, if you get the point, it thinks sick. I don't even really mind it sitting up a little bit like that. I, mean, I prefer low riders or stock height a lot of times, but this thing's really nice. I highly recommend that car. Very detailed. And my homie, um, you know, we're here at the tattoo shop. My homie took an eye loop magnification I would that we look at uh, the ends of tattoo needles with so it's you can see super tiny shit and if you look there's like a little bitty you know, pick it up right up front behind the bumper there there's that little rectangle at first I thought that was an indicator and it is but in front of it the little black spot says 327 on it Good job, Johnny Lightman, to put 327 in that little tiny. You can see with my finger there how little that would have to be. It's ridiculous, like super cool. So uh, I already had the uh, original. I think everybody that could find one got one, but uh, I found the one with the uh, the Wildcat. And I wasn't going to buy it because I've got a couple of these, but the Wildcat is just something about accessories. They give you the shit you got to buy it kind of thing. Like when you buy the uh, director's extended cut of Rob Zombie's Halloween, and then they come out with another one like, with a golden tin. Like, what the hell? That's how they get you. But uh, anyhow, so there's that. These were two separate, yeah, two separate trips. Three, if you count the Impala that I just showed you, where I go to Toys R Us and there's this really cool lady that's been working there forever, and uh, I'll talk to her. And she'll talk to my son when he's in there, and uh, I always look. She catches me looking behind stuff and laughs, but I always find stuff that other collectors hide including that Impala, but uh, today I went in there and there were uh, M2 auto drivers, which a lot of people don't like them because the doors don't open and stuff, but they're still just as detailed. Found this one, this uh, super sick Nikki SS 427 with the crazy hood scoop, the red lines. This thing is really super sick. Again, it, it's not as as detailed as far as the doors opening in the roll cage, but still, I mean, all in all, got the uh, hockey stripe on it. Red interior with a white car just, to me, looks super sick. Uh, we had a guy actually come here today that has a little 63 Falcon. You guys know I'm a Comet Falcon fan because I'm a Comet. And uh, this thing was white with red trim on the in between the chrome and had the red interior. The car was nice. It was a six cylinder, but still cool. And then again, yet another trip found uh, another one that someone hid. Thought they were going to get. And uh, actually, this is the same uh, set as the Impala. In case you didn't get it the first time, you guys can see it. And this is new. This. I don't think this is like a reissue or anything, but I uh, got those, and then uh, I think that's all of that stuff. And of course, I found me a couple more bad gassers to make some customs out of, and uh, I don't know if I showed this or not, but. I did a trade 
with Bobby T about a month ago. And he needed a, a bad gasser. And I didn't have this yet. Need more of these, but he looked up and found two. And that's the kind of guy he is. He traded one of the two. And so I'm real happy to have that and the blue one. Both of these were, besides the bad gasser, those were two things I wanted to try. And uh, you guys know I do the 55s and the Camaros. So then um, one of my customers is super cool. He, uh, pretty sure the majority of everybody is a fan of The Walking Dead. And I got a couple, I got the Rick's police car and the GTO from the first episode hanging up still on card. And uh, he said, so you dig those? And I said, yeah, I don't even know that I'm going to open them. I kind of like the card art. And um, I have a GTO already like the judge. I'm like a KP when it comes to the GTO judge. I dig them. So I've got several different colors and whatever. But So he said, yeah, I might have to grab you some of those or something. And uh, he brought me this one. This thing, if you haven't seen it in person, it's kind of dope with the, the Mitch Match or dirty front wheel. Got the little stuff on the top. The, uh, the windshield's got the. Probably won't be able to pick that up. Let me see. Yeah, the windshield's got wiper marks on it. As well as the back. One day, I guess I'll be bold enough as uh, Heavy Metal 164 and open everything, but at the moment. I don't have to open every single thing. And uh, this one was one I was really dying to get out of the newer Walking Dead stuff. If you keep up with the show, uh, whenever Sophia, the little girl, gets lost, and there's all these abandoned cars on the Atlanta Highway, they uh, have this Mustang, and they uh, put the note, it's another thing to pick that up. They put the note on the windshield there that says Sophia will be back every day. And right here, someone was sharing this car and didn't know what that was. I guess they don't watch the show. They put food and water on the hood of the car for her and in hopes that nobody found it before her. But yeah, I was really excited. I'm not even that big of a Mustang fan, but this car's got great wheels and uh, great detail to be what it is. And a lot of times you'll see a Mustang in 164. Sometimes it's 50-50. Sometimes they kill it. Other times it's like, eh, you know, not enough detail to it. I think that one turned out really nice. And then the ass kicker. Dale's RV. 73 Chieftain. This thing is sick. Got the ladders, all the stuff there. The AC units little sticker deal on the window or whatever just badass got a cracked window this thing is amazing I thought they I didn't think that they would uh, be able to outdo the Breaking Bad camper but this thing is nuts I remember seeing campers like this when I was a kid so those are cool super stoked to have those I think the only one currently out of the newer batch that I don't have is the Michonne's Jeep with the little utility trailer, hitch and tow. So, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, let me know what you think. I'm, I'm sorry it's been a while since I've made a video, but uh, you guys let me know what you think and uh, comment below if you don't follow. Hit me up, subscribe. I'll, I'll definitely communicate back and forth and uh, squared you away Wayne uh, Travis and KP peace